Well, it may be the worst kept secret in San Diego sports history. Major League Soccer is coming here to America's finest city. Good morning, everyone. So glad you are with us here at 6 a.m. on this Thursday. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Iramport. And yeah, for soccer fans, an exciting day because we're hours away from a big announcement. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us here. And let's get to that. This announcement expected to happen at Snapdragon Stadium. And that's where we find this guy, CPS 8's Chris Grow. Uh, so yeah, not a secret really, uh, but you know, we are expecting to get a lot more details later today, right, Chris? More details, four hours and about 45 minutes time. We will potentially be learning some further details about what the team for, for the MLS league here will look like in San Diego. And we've already seen uh, a really good example of success of an MLS team in Southern California. In fact, back in 2015, CBS 8 made the trip up to LA to speak with the LA Galaxy uh, president, team president, to find out exactly what it takes to succeed as an MLS franchise. Now, there wasn't any talk of an MLS team coming to San Diego then, but this is what he had to say, again, back in 2015. Soccer works in Southern California. Uh, look at the number of people that play soccer in San Diego. Look at the TV ratings whenever you have a national team game, men or women, and San Diego is usually at the top of the list. And so these are some of the details that have already been reported. Let's go through them. We know that the team is going to play right here at Snapdragon Stadium, the home of the San Diego State Aztecs, as well as a number of other soccer matches that have been scheduled from some pretty premier European teams. Now, no word on what they will be called or what their crest will be, but they'll likely play here starting in 2025. Now, according to the Union Tribune, the ownership group is going to be made up of the Saquon Band of the Kumeyaay Nation and the senior treasurer for the United Kingdom's conservative party, Egyptian billionaire Mohammed Mansour. Now, the reported franchise fee in the ballpark of $500 million. So that is a lot of money, and that's, again, uh, where that ownership group is kicking up the dough. The MLS expansion draft is going to be in about 18 months. That's another date after today that fans or potential fans will want to circle. That allows for a new club to select up to five players from existing clubs. Now, of course, those clubs have an opportunity to protect their players or potentially leave them open to getting picked up by the San Diego MLS franchise. Now, as for some not so excited reaction, we did hear a pretty defiant statement from the USL team here in town, the San Diego Loyal, saying that they're not going anywhere. And we've also heard from some fans in our Facebook page stating, hey, look, we were loyal fans first. We're going to remain uh, loyal to the loyal. However, time will tell whether or not they will move over or whether or not the bandwagon will be full by the time things are kicking off. Eric and Netta. All right, Chris, uh, you mentioned uh, earlier the Golden Vegas Knights when they when they came on mm -hmm. to the NHL yep. scene in their inaugural season. They actually went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Wow. So just because this is a new <laughs> team doesn't mean that they're not going to have instant success right. with the San Diego backing of all our fans. They're not going to be baby soccer players. They're no. going to be pro. They might yeah. hit the ground My running, movie if you will. quote of all time. My favorite movie quote of all time. What's it? You're saying there's a chance? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying yeah. there's a chance. Yeah. Now that there's yeah. a team in town. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looking forward to that. saying there's a chance. Yeah, saying there's a chance. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.